This is a story about a little boy, Caitlin, who at four was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I just kind of look at it as a, a slow motion nightmare. It's a horrible thing to get this diagnosis, but in this circumstance where you have leukemia, he's got the best kind of leukemia. Most children diagnosed with ALL survive. In fact, 85 to 90% survive today. Kathan's story was going to be different than the rest of those children. He was treated initially, he relapsed. He was treated again and relapsed. I try to look for good stuff. Like when I was in the second relapse, I suddenly found I love to draw. So I kind of look at it that way. If I didn't relapse, maybe I wouldn't have found drawing. He was able to get access to an experimental drug that put him in remission again and allowed him to receive a bone marrow transplant from his mother. It was successful, he was in remission, and unfortunately, two months later, he relapsed again. And at that point, was out of options. It's life and death time. There's an 11-year-old boy that has used this experimental drug last summer and it worked, and it will work again, but we need to get approval for this now. As an organization, we mobilized our chief mission officer, our chief policy officer, our patient service folks, everybody and anybody within the organization reached out on behalf of Kathon to get him access to this drug. Within 36 hours, it was in the doctor's hands and it was being administered to Kathon. Kathon achieved remission from his leukemia again. I'm writing a story that I want to make into a film when I grow up. He wanted to meet Tim Burton. Uh, he wanted to be a producer himself. It felt good to meet him. It, kind of, it really made me happy. He spent time with his family. He spent time with his friends. There's kind of a tradition at our school that we always save a place for Kathan. It's kind of a spot to make me feel like I'm still part of the class. The hope was to bridge him to another therapy that might become available in the near term. We were able to introduce him to a therapy that is still cutting edge, was in an early, early trial. But for him, with few options, uh, it definitely seemed promising. Families like Kathan's um, seek anything to prolong, even for a short period of time, um, uh, the patient's life so that they can spend some quality time together. Often, I like to sit here and tell stories of survivorship but we lose someone every 10 minutes to a blood cancer. And so as an organization, we continue to fight in real time for patients to ensure that a situation like Kathon, we are able to bridge him to a new therapy because we are an organization that looks to fund bright ideas in a lab to phase one, phase two, phase three clinical trials. Our goal is a world without blood cancer so that no family ever again uh, suffers the loss of a child to one of these diseases. The opportunity for someone who knows someone with a blood cancer or knows someone with cancer is the opportunity really to invest in the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. And while I can tell you many stories of survivorship, there are far too many stories of folks who just don't make it. Kathan was scheduled for treatment and unfortunately, in early July, he succumbed to pneumonia and was not able to make that journey. We were this close to getting him opportunity and bridged to another therapy that perhaps could have granted him the gift of survivorship. this story was not only about getting to know Kathan, but getting to know Kathan's family. Uh, perhaps the strongest family that I've ever encountered. We're an organization that will move heaven and earth to try and help a single patient. It's hard to go through this, but if you look back, maybe something good happened. I found my love from films, and I found what I wanted to be when I grew up.